All about Tiangong Space Station. China's space station in low Earth orbit is called Tiangong. The Chinese Manned Space Agency has constructed Tiangong, a space station in low Earth orbit. The first of the three modules for the orbiting space station, Tianhe, was launched by China in May 2021, and the nation plans to complete construction of the station by the end of 2022. For at least 10 years, CMSA plans to maintain three astronauts in Tiangong. Numerous experiments from China and other nations will be conducted on board the space station. Tiangong, which translates to, Heavenly Palace, will be made up of Tianhe, the primary astronaut housing, and the two experiment hosting modules Mengtian and Wenshan, both of which were scheduled to launch in 2022. Three-person crews will travel to the space station on Shenzhou spacecraft, which will launch from Jiaquan in the Gobi Desert. Supplies and fuel will be delivered to the station on Tianzhou cargo spacecraft, which will launch from Wenchang on the Chinese island of Hainan. In comparison to the International Space Station, Tiangong will be substantially smaller, with only three modules as opposed to the International Space Station's 16 modules. Tiangong will also be lighter than the International Space Station, which now contains Russia's Naka module and weighs roughly 400 tons. With a docking hub that enables it to accept the Shenzhou and Tianzhou spacecraft as well as the two later experiment modules, the 54-foot-long Tianhe module was launched. The Mengtian and Wenshan modules will be placed with the assistance of a big robotic arm, which will also help astronauts on spacewalks. Tianhe is almost three times heavier at 24 tons than the Tiangong-1 and 2 test space laboratory that China deployed in the previous 10 years at 22 metric tons. The new Tiangong, visiting spacecraft, and cargo spacecraft will increase the usable space for the astronauts to the point where they'll feel as though they will be living in a villa, in comparison to how little space was available on previous Chinese space labs. To enable astronauts to spend extended amounts of time in orbit, Tianhe has regenerative life support systems that include a method of recycling urine. In addition to housing the propulsion systems that keep the space station in orbit, it serves as the astronauts' primary living room. To complete Tiangong, according to China, 11 launches will be required. Three module launches, four crewed flights, and four Tianzhou spacecraft to deliver fuel and supplies. Tianhe, Tianzhou-2, and Shenzhou-12 were the first three launches, and all three were successful. When Tiangong is finished, it will be joined by a big, Hubble-like space telescope that will share the space station's orbit and be able to dock for servicing, maintenance, and perhaps upgrades. The telescope will be called Zuntian, which means, search the skies, and will have a 6-foot 6 6-inch 6 mirror diameter like Hubble but a 300-fold larger field of vision. Over the course of 10 years, Zuntian plans to use its massive, 2.5 billion pixel camera to study 40% of the sky. If all goes as planned, the space station could eventually be expanded to six modules. China undertook a protracted journey to get to the stage of constructing its space station. After the project's initial approval in 1992, the nation started working on creating the Long March 2F rocket and Shenzhou crew spacecraft to launch astronauts into space. In October 2003, Yang Liwei became China's first astronaut in space, moving her nation into third place globally in terms of autonomous human spaceflight. China indicated interest in becoming a partner of the International Space Station, but that possibility was put to rest by a 2011 law passed by American legislators that virtually forbade NASA from working directly with China or any Chinese-owned company. This makes it difficult to deploy American astronauts to Tiangong, or Chinese astronauts to the International Space Station, as direct collaboration between NASA and Chinese space stations is expressly forbidden. China initially needed to test out essential space station systems, such as life support and technology for rendezvous and docking of spacecraft in orbit while moving 17,448 miles per hour, before it could build and operate a crewed space station. To do this, China launched the 8.2 metric ton Tiangong-1 space lab in 2011, and then dispatched the crewed Shenzhou-9 and 10 and the unmanned Shenzhou-8 to orbit alongside Tiangong-1. 
The two astronaut crew of Shenzhou 11 spent slightly over a month aboard the upgraded but similarly sized Tiangong 2, which was launched in 2016 and broke the previous record for the length of a human spaceflight mission. The China Manned Space Agency was focused on creating new, larger Long March heavy lift rockets to enable a space station as it crossed off these initial milestones. The massive space station modules were intended to be launched into low Earth orbit using the Long March 5B. After Tianhe was launched in late April 2021, the same rocket caused one of the biggest uncontrolled re-entries in recent memory. China finished building its brand new Wanchang spaceport in 2014 with the intention of using it to launch larger diameter rockets that must be transported by sea. Shenzhou 12, 13, and 14 will be the first crewed missions, and they will all be for building a space station. Starting in 2023, a succession of missions with operational phases of six months each will be launched. Astronomy, Space Health and Life Sciences, Biotechnology, Microgravity Combustion and Fluid Physics, and Space Technologies are just a few of the disciplines that crews will conduct research in. Six astronauts will also temporarily reside at Tiangong during crew changes. International astronauts will probably visit Tiangong in the future. Towards a potential future trip to the Chinese space station, European Space Agency astronauts Samantha Cristoforetti and Matthias Maurer trained with their Chinese counterparts in 2017. Other nations' astronauts, especially those taking part in China's Belt and Road program, may possibly visit Tiangong. Russia is also thinking about sending its cosmonauts. According to Space News, China is attempting to discover options to maintain supply in Tiangong. The China Manned Space Agency issued a request for proposals in January 2021 for dependable, affordable supply trips to Tiangong. Commercial businesses were welcome to apply, mirroring NASA's commercial resupply services contracts, which gave SpaceX options. Tiangong will be visible from Earth, just as the International Space Station occasionally is. The space station should remain a constant in the sky for at least 10 years as it orbits between 211 and 280 miles above Earth and between 43 degrees north and south. Well, there you have our facts about the Tiangong space station. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching.